ladies and gentlemen welcome back a another video brought to you by Rib. today we're back in lakeside 9000 and we're going to show you how to import an xcam build into terrain builder so as you can know i've been building all this in terrain builder but the actual building part has been done in xcam so yeah just just a bit of a how to first of all you're going to have to have xcam installed if you don't know how to install xcam go and watch one of my previous videos uh we've just search rib so say xcam but there's a couple there's one video that shows you how to install xcam and there's another video showing you how to use xcam so once you've got that far come back here um yeah so we've got our unit down here and then let's go and get the module for xcam let's place that down at the xcam in it and let's go to play so we're just going to put any object down just just for the testing purposes just to show you how it the method and how it's done it's very simple so come on right so we're up at the racetrack start x camp lovely jubbly right so let's go to it's an any new project call this whatever <laughs> lovely let's put down anything so let's just get a trailer for instance and uh, let's just put you there we'll delete you afterwards so pretend this is a massive build it doesn't matter if I put one object or 30 the methods the same so once you've done your XCAM build and you want to import it into your terrain builder into the, the map go to load definition file and then CBF create build file okay once you've done that click OK just come out of your armor 3 go to your terrain builder if you haven't got terrain builder etc all installed then that's another video go and check one of my, my other videos the terrain builder and bulldozer setup and go to source terrain builder open up your map Should take two seconds and if you have a name for this map because uh, obviously I was using Atlantis but from my previous video I didn't even know there was already an Atlantis map, so I'm, I'm after a new name. If you've got any suggestions, then yeah, go and pop, pop them in the comments of the previous video. So once this is loaded, we're nearly there. So, I'm on my laptop, it's not the fastest, guys, bear with me. Should be done any second, now it's done. So, what we do now is go File, Import, Object, Select this, that's what I just called my last project. Go OK, open, and there it is, there's the pop trailer that I just added. So now all I'd do is go file, export, WRP, go back to my P drive, back to my project, Jackson County, and just resave it there. Overwrite, lovely. OK, what you'd need to do now, as you should be aware, is you need to use your PBO project and crunch it back up get out of all this so this will crunch it crunch this will take two secs, I'll speed this little section up okay welcome back so that's all crunched so come out of this and if you don't know what the PBO project does that crunches your map into a PBO so then you can load it up in your Armour 3 directory and load it up as a map so let's go back into Armour and when we load up the map you should see our trailer is there it's a it's static into the map it's actually made into the map so happy days One, I'll, there is a little tip to show you we'll, we'll go back to that in the terrain builder once we've checked the, the trailer all good in the hood. Come on, armor three. Nearly done. Obviously, you do need whatever mod you're using, you have to have them in your P drive as an open folder like this. The same as in my. I have to have the same mods PBO'd in my see that's common number three and Metro Rib where are you? So I have exactly the same mods here as I do in my P drive, however the P drive they have to be open. But we'll come back to this, I'll show you this uh, in two ticks. 
Let's just get this map loaded. Okay. Single player, editor. Atlantis, which is soon to be renamed. We're not using it no more. Okay, close that. Go to that. Go back. Do, 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 do. There's our trailer. As you can see, it's static. It's actually built into the map. Lovely jubbly. Let's just get our little unit. Let's play. Okay, and there it is. That's how you import an XCAM project, an XCAM build, something you built in XCAM, into Terrain Builder. But there's one thing I just want to show you, so let's go back into Terrain Builder. Open Source Terrain Builder Mind Map. So whatever mods I use, I have to add in the template library. So like I say, first of all, you put, uh, for instance, if I want to use th those trailers, if I want to use those trailers, I'm going to have to template library. But first of all, I pull them in my P drive as an open folder, on PBO them, and put them in your P drive, then select them and import them. If you import a, an XCAM project and you haven't got the mods in your template library, it's it's going to cause an error. It will just come up with an error and you won't be able to do nothing. So make sure you put your whatever, uh, whatever mod you're using in your P drive. And they have to be in a on PBO. They can't be a PBO. They have to be a folder. And you've added them in the template library, and then you'll be all Gucci. And the same same applies. The, the PBO of that mod has to be in your Armor 3 directory in the folder that you're creating. So I hope that helps, guys. Like and subscribe. Bulldozer tutorial next. Peace. Peace.